I was making these mug breads. Correction. Cake. I'm making cake. Well, I'll explain what that is in a second. Hold on. For my friend Brian over here. Give me the freaking gimbal. You're in the scene. That guy. Because he came over to my house to help me film a scene. That's why I got all this ridiculous freaking mess on my freaking face. So, I want to show you guys this thing. It's Hacks. Hacks. It's a modified version of mug bread or, or keto bread or whatever the frick you want to call it. I've already got a tablespoon and a half of butter and a tablespoon and a half of almond flour in there. Okay. Where do you want to stand and film with this thing? I'm going to sit down and film with it right here. It's fine, whatever. Say a new intro, but no commentary on your makeup. It's like we're making keto bread. A new intro. You want me to say a new intro after all that? All right, fine. Hello, time travelers. We're making keto bread? Correction! Cake! We're making keto cake! This is my look of disapproval. Check this out. That's not in this scene. Coconut flour is twice as absorbent as almond flour. So you can do hacks to, <sighs> to make your keto bread have texture more like regular bread. Because regular bread is evil! You know, the basic recipe of keto bread is four tablespoons of almond flour, one tablespoon of olive oil, one egg, a pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of psyllium husk powder, which is this magic stuff so you get your fiber. It also makes it taste kind of weedy. And then optionally, you know, half teaspoon of flaxseed. Ground flaxseed, don't just buy flax seeds and try to ground them yourself, that's stupid. It won't work. They're very small. The thing is, since coconut flour is twice as absorbent as almond flour, so if you get the four tablespoons in your recipe of almond flour, you replace two of those tablespoons of almond flour with one tablespoon of coconut flour, which I'm about to do. Toss. Toss. What is a psyllium plant? I don't know. Mm. Is it just because it's soluble fiber that's why they use it? I guess. Maybe it's because it's cheap. Nobody wants psyllium. You gotta go like this if you want. No, I, you, weren't, you weren't in that scene. I was pointing at the psyllium. <laughs> oh. What are you, email or something? Well, actually, I was just, hey, about the makeup. I was filming a scene for email me, which is taking forever, and it's going to be worth it. And there's your half teaspoon of psyllium husk powder that goes in there. And you wipe it off. You Get your freaking flax seed. You have an incredible amount of confidence to be able to teach people about making bread while wearing that makeup. Yes, I do. And we're making keto cake, not just regular keto bread or regular bread or whatever. It was all planned. When he came over, we were going to film him for the first time. I was going to make him keto cake. Why did I keep saying keto bread while filming this video? That must be it. It must be confidence. Is that better lighting for the scene? Meh. 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 Toss. What I'm making right now is a sort of cake. Now I says it's finally! And so I don't forget, I'm getting my freaking card. Oh, sweetener. Two tablespoons of erythritol or allulose or monk fruit. And right now I'm out of everything except a super expensive monk fruit. I don't care. I'm making some stuff for my friend. So you know how alcohols end in O-all like erythritol and you know those sort of things? The other day I dropped something on the ground and I was like, dang it all. And then I was like, <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Can you go grab some dang it all at the store? And then you grab your your baking powder. You need a quarter teaspoon of that in there. Toss. Toss. You use the little scrapey thing inside the can like a professional. I guess. It's like you do it frequently. All the time. Now I'm getting some heavy cream. Tablespoon and a half of heavy, uh, I can't talk, heavy cream. It didn't look like it was that heavy. Well, it, it, it says really it in all in giant letters, heavy. Huh. Maybe I just need to use that for weightlifting. Where's my salt at? Sometimes oh, there is. I like to be goofy and not use Pinch of the salt, jungle. pinch of salt. That's it, that's all I need. Now we need extract. Uh, sometimes I like to do it vanilla. You, you, I'm experimenting with the gimbal. If you do it mid shot, it works best. <laughs> That's what they told me. <laughs> Let me see, I've got vanilla, imitation cherry, lemon, which is delicious, coffee flavor, rum, and cake batter. 
I don't think I've ever considered the concept of flavored bread before. It's gonna be, what do you think cake is? It's flavored bread. What kind do you want? Cherry? You want cherry. Imitation cherry for you. And I, I want lemon. I'll lemon. Take lemon too. That sounds good. Instead lemon or cherry. Either one's fine. If you're going lemon, I'll go lemon. Okay, fine. Whatever. Either one. Let's do one of each and then we each try half teaspoon of whatever extract you want on there. Toss. Edit. You may choose to use one teaspoon of the extract depending on the strength of the extract. You'll find out later in this video. Oh, and the obligatory, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notified and click like on the video. And, well, my favorite is actually comments. Comment in the video. Not that I have been framing you extra well during this shot, but I'm checking my text, and so if you go off camera, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's whoever's texting you's faults. <laughs> yes, it's exactly. And then, you need an egg. I don't even know if I'm in focus because he's looking at his phone over there. Yeah, you weren't. Well, I just pushed focus when you got close, so now. And then you need an egg. There you go. Okay, we have it now. Yeah. Question. Wow. That was Do you want frosting on yours? No, I despise frosting, actually. If you want to make frosting, you can get whatever flavor you want of this kind. And it's got safe sweeteners that won't spike your insulin. And it's four tablespoons of this, two tablespoons of heavy cream, and then two tablespoons of the sweetener. Mix that all up. It's gonna be super thick. If you like a more runny frosting, use unsweetened almond milk instead. Then you get a little fork, and I'm gonna put this guy to work. Make him does his own. Are you texting people over there instead of making your cake? Yes, but I'm done texting now. One's wife is importante. All right. So you stir this until it is homogenous. Homogenous. So here's a trick. See, I'm turning the ball as I go around the edge. Oh, that's fancy. I like Turn the it. ball as you go around the edge. <clears throat> so the ball goes clockwise and the fork goes counterclockwise and you're touching the middle and the edge constantly. That's thinking of three dimensions. Oh, try to think in 11. And my time travel shenanigans. Whoa. Once you get it mostly homogenized, yes. then you're gonna do this. You're gonna switch from this to this. Okay. Does that pasteurize it? <laughs> pasteurize. That's I think the point of this video went pasteurize. <laughs> pasteurize is when you take your cow out and put it in the pasture. Today's dad joke was brought to you by my friend, Brian. Okay. Now that I done did it. Now you can give it a taste test to see if you want to add anything to it. Looks good. Taste the fork. But it's too much effort. There's raw eggs in here and I'm not Rocky. Only Rocky can do that. I must break you. What? It's just a tiny bit. Okay. That actually tastes like cake. I'm really surprised. So we'll do that again? Yes, with me actually looking at the camera. That actually tastes like cake. I'm really surprised. So now you want to microwave this for a minute and 45 seconds. Don't microwave more than one at a time because it throws off the, 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 the radiation to mass ratio science oh. stuff. It was good science. It's also 11.34 a.m. And if you look outside, you can see that we live in that other hemisphere, where it's dark at 11.34. Or, I never bothered changing the clock! Because why? This stupid Columbus, the power goes out twice a week anyway. And it'll forget. So that's just monk fruit and that cherry extract making it sweet? Yep. Dude, I could not tell, like that tastes like legitimately like cake to me. It tastes like that box of cake, you know, where you just open it and like add eggs and it's cake. Like that cake. And this literally only takes like five or ten minutes if you want to eat a piece of cake. Yeah. So, you want to get two of your hot pads and then have one ready to catch. Because your ramekin is freaking hot! Duh! And it looks like freaking cake. It does. The smell is not quite cake smell. Because it smells like an egg got cooked. Yeah. But you get used to it. 
and after you make a few of these things, you can smell it like you go in the other room and something else and you smell it like, my cake is almost done. It smells like glorious flavors. Do you get used to it kind of like wearing makeup? You don't even notice anymore? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to try first, the cherry or the lemon? Yes, both of them. Here's both of the forks. Okay. I, I, I don't even know why you need Here's two forks. Here's the deal. I don't remember which ones, which don't tell me. It'll be fun. I'm gonna go with this one. All right. A little fluffy bite. Look at this. Look at the poise. Oh, the texture. Oh yeah. Couldn't tell which one it was. We're just going for it. Ah, that's hot. That's some lemon. I could maybe do double on the extract. I don't know, I think it's cherry. All right, try nah, that. Nah, that one's just the lemon. I can taste it now. All right, all right. Use uh, a whole teaspoon of extract, I guess. Are we talking to editing me? No, I'm just talking to people watching the video. There's people watching us? You've seen YouTube before, right? Oh, I only got half the fluffy triangle goodness out. Oh, you can smell that cherry. This is definitely cherry. Ah, also hot. If you're watching us at home and you're a kid, don't stick your face in ovens or washing machines. The more you know. Safety once. No, it's just power. That's good cake. Taking the rest of my little triangle right there. Which one do you want, the lemon or the cherry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whichever, you pick one, I'll, they're both good. I like both of them. And I will take whichever for Now for the awkward end screen. Subscribe by clicking there, 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 and here. You click all of the things. No, it's, it's this one. Oh. And then, I don't know, some other video over there. I'm blocking his face. Isn't that awkward? All right, I'll see you guys in the comments and click like and all those other things. Bye. There you go.